Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading. I guess I can take my glasses off here for my LED protection glasses for a minute. I wanted to show a uh, video of the new grow tent. I've got it set up. I've got the little shade up here so you can kind of peek in and uh, observe your uh, seedlings as they're starting to sprout. But I wanted to kind of give you a little tour. I've got everything hooked up now. I've got the uh, fan up in the corner to do the circulation, continuous circulation air fan, kind of blowing a little bit of air in the tent to keep everything from uh, getting any kind of molds or anything settling in there. And I also have a uh, ventilation fan tent, a ventilation fan for venting some cool air from inside the storage area here under the house where I have this tent set up to blow through the tent and blow out the warm air when it gets a little too warm. And uh, I also have heat mat timers and I got that on the wall over here. I'll kind of swing the camera around so you guys can take a look at the, the new elements that I've added for electronics to control inside this tent. And then, uh, last I'll kind of unzip the tent let you guys take a peek inside. So let me go ahead and uh, grab the camera and I'll put my goggles back on and I'll uh, let you guys kind of take a tour of what i got going on here. Alright, let me get the camera up here. Okay, so, we've got here for the uh, the new electronics. I've got, uh, it's kind of, the, kind of the same setup as we have for the other tent. So we've got, uh, you know, here's the light timer. Same light timer we have over here for the big LED tent. We have another version of the, uh, the Inkbird timer down here for the uh, cooling and heating. And uh, I'm going to be having that plugged, you know. Basically what I'm going to be doing for that, I'm going to be doing just the cooling off of that. And then the heating I'm going to be running off of this thermostat right here, which is going to basically be the heat mat timer that will go and keep the seeds, seedlings under their their tray time you know trays warm so we've got the, the fan controller here and if I wanted to put an auxiliary heater inside of this tent I can actually like I have in the the big tent I have that little uh, you know heater that I've got plugged in I cannot remember what they're called <laughs> space heater so I've got an extra space heater in there and I do have an extra space heater but I want to see how how warm this tent's gonna stay with just the heat mats keeping the seedlings warm because right now uh, it's about 71 degrees, 70, yeah, about 71 degrees you can see on the temperature there inside the tent. And uh, underneath the trays, because the trays, I just filled them with compost that was out in the sun. So they're actually reading about 75 degrees right now with the, uh, the thermostat that's stuck underneath the trays. They're pretty warm underneath there because it was some sun. As you can see, it just kind of ticked down a tenth of a degree. But uh, I'm not running a humidity sensor inside there or extra fans yet, so I didn't think if I needed that in such a small tent. But uh, that's kind of the electronic setup we've got going on here. So uh, let me go ahead and unzip the tent so you get a peek inside. Okay. So as I showed before, I kind of had the, uh, I showed you the lights before, but now you can see what it's going to look like with trays inside. So here's the top. Let's get a shot from inside here so you can see there's the fan. It's got a pretty good, pretty good amount of air blowing through there. Piece of paper. You can kind of see the, how much air is blowing. That gives you a good indication of what the air is coming through there like, so it circulates throughout the tent. And we've got our trays. And so I'm doing three, 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 and then on the bottom I got two. Because the two, that's when I had the two blue LED lights that were only 18 watts, so I figured I'll just try that out down there. I can always replace those with some more. I was thinking about going and getting some of the uh, the new uh, 45 waters that are 29 bucks that are like half an inch thick. They're really, really compact now compared to my one inch thick ones that I've got that I bought about two years ago. But uh, there's the trays, and down there in the corner, there's the auxiliary fan to pump in some cool air if it gets too hot. That's kind of the uh, setup for the inside of the tent. I remember I was telling you I was gonna put on the back of the tent. I was gonna run some plastic down to protect all the electrical in case when you know you're using the watering wand and you're spraying in there. You don't want to be spraying your electrical, you know, circuitry or you're going to be popping circuits. You know, that could lead to a fire and you don't want to avoid all that. So I put in some more, pla you know, I put plastic around down there and covered up all the wiring. And I cut little holes so that way, you know, the wires can come through, taped around the holes. So that way it gives a nice seal. It's not perfect, you know, you probably call it hillbilly engineering. But uh, it's good enough for a simple grow tent under a house. But yeah, that's kind of the setup for the, uh, the new small tent. Let me set this back down over here in this video so that way you don't have to see my hairy mug too long. All right, there we go. So uh, 
this is kind of the new tent and we're going to be uh, keeping you updated on that that way you guys will see the progress and see when things start to sprout and we're going to get some uh, you know germination inside of here so hopefully you know we'll see some good results out of this because Paul and I really want to kick up our uh, personal lettuce production and spinach so you know I mean like these top trays here they're spinach uh, then I've got beta salad mix then I've got some chard uh, I've got some hot mix which is going to be a spicy mustard greens that we had in the uh, LED salad bar last winter and Paula really loves those so yeah this should be a interesting experiment for another grow tent all right well this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading uh, signing off I'll talk to you guys later all right bye